If you're looking for a four-star resort near Miami, Florida, then keep watching my review of the Diplomat Beach Resort. Okay, so as we enter the Diplomat Beach Resort, you can see this is the entryway and it is stunning. It has glass everywhere. There's a blue tint to the glass and then everything looks very tropical around. I thought it was a very pretty hotel and lobby and everything just looks super clean. So I was very impressed when I first walked in. They have the prime restaurant here to the left, which is the first place that we ate at. And you can see it's pretty dark. The food was not good at all, but um, upscale steakhouse if you are into that. And then they do have a couple of other restaurants we'll see along the way. But here is the check-in and check-out area directly across from the prime. And then I'm going to walk you over to their little convenience store that they have where you can get snacks, coffee, donuts. Um, I just thought it was really convenient that they did have this, which is called the canteen. And then if you do need other things like um, medicines or flip-flops or anything like that, they do have a store for that as well. And then in this area is the sitting area. So you can grab food from any of the restaurants and come and hang out here, or just hang out here in general. And directly in front of us is the hotel bar. So um, they do have a bar here and then on the other side of the wall, which is outside. So you can um, enjoy your drinks outside by the pool as well. I came out here pretty early in the morning, so as you'll see once we go outside, it won't be open outside just yet, but they do have an operating bar out there as well. So now as we walk towards the door, you'll see a couple more restaurants. So this one is Point Royal. I don't think that was open while we were here. And then we have one to the left, which is where we got our breakfast. So this one is called Counterpoint. And um, they don't have full on breakfast, but it's more like a cafe where you can get little pastries, um, a couple of sandwiches are offered, fruit, and just small things like that. So now this is the upper deck and the first pool that we'll see. Again, here is the bar that um, you can get your drinks at if you're at the pool. They have fire pits out here. The pool is fairly large, but again, they do have multiple pools. So they have one on the lower deck and then they have another kid's pool with slides and other fun things for kids. So definitely a large hotel. And um, they do have little stations here where you can grab towels and um, water as well for free. And then to get down to the lower deck, you can either take the stairs, there's two or three stairways that take you there, or you can take the elevator. And downstairs, they have another beautiful pool, which you can see from the other pool, that little circle there actually um, is glass where you can see down underneath to the other pool, which I thought was really cool. And now I'm going to walk down to the lower deck where they also have a restaurant. There's a spa over there to the left, which I think it's closed due to COVID right now. But um, once that's up and running, I think that's really nice that you're able to get a massage and other services right there by the pool. And La Playa here, that is their restaurant, which is right by the beach. This hotel is right on the beach. So as soon as you come out of these gates, you are literally in the sand, which I thought was amazing. Whenever I go to Florida, I make sure that I'm staying at a hotel on the beach because it just makes the experience so much better and more relaxing. And you can see this is a fairly large little restaurant outside. It is a typical American restaurant. So they have like chicken hamburgers, things like that and just loved the beach area out here. So as we walk back, you can see the splash park here, which I think is really cool for the kids. Definitely a family friendly place. So they have two pools and one splash park. And then I believe they do also have like hot tubs as well. I know I saw one over by the spa area and I'm not sure if they have one within the spa as well. 
So now I walked out to the beach. This is right in front of the hotel. There are other hotels all the way down the street, um, side by side. So plenty of hotels to choose from on the beach here, but I just thought this one was very beautiful and reasonably priced. So then looking back at the hotel, you can see that they have their little area with their chairs. You can purchase umbrellas and cabanas as well if you want to hide from the sun. And then going back up, you can see this is the back of the building. So very large hotel, but very nice. And then at night, they do have fire pits that they light, which is very nice and relaxing just to sit by the fire pits and stay warm. And then going into the room, I thought the room was very nice, very um, clean and a good size. So coming straight in to the right, you see the bathroom, which I thought was a really good size as well. And I really like that they separate the toilet and the shower by doors. So here is the shower to the right. It's a fairly small shower, but it does the job. It was, it was good, it was clean, so that's all I cared about. And then to the left here is the toilet. So I really liked that they had the door on the toilet because this bathroom has one of those windows to it with the little barn doors that close. And I always feel like that's so exposing. So I really liked that they did have the door to the toilet as well. A lot of counter space. They do also have a jacuzzi tub in there, which I didn't use, but Definitely cool feature to have. And then there you can see the windows. It was very nice to be able to see the ocean from the bathroom, but I just, I hate when they have windows in bathrooms. I just don't understand why you would have that. All right, so then going out of the bathroom, we next have the closet. So they do have a, um, Fairly nice size closet, double doors. It has a um, ironing board in it. It has the iron, a safe, hangers, blow dryer. So all the essentials that you typically look for when you're in the, in the hotel. Um, and then the lights do come on when you open the door, which I thought was nice. So then the beds, I do have two full size beds and very nice size TV place to um, put your your luggage and then of course I had to get the oceanfront room because um, they do allow you to open the windows so you can hear the ocean it looks out to the pool so very nice view and then they do also have an option for a balcony as well for a little bit more so definitely think it's worth it to get the oceanfront room and if you can to get the balcony but I was very, very happy with the room. It does have a refrigerator as well. And um, yeah, so that's my review of this place. I hope you enjoyed it. I really loved my stay there. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.